Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and something different here today. Officially pretty much confirming that I'll be returning to league racing this season under the AOR umbrella as you guys would have seen in the intro. Now um, we're still waiting for placements to be announced and things to be confirmed. However, in this video here today I'm going to show you guys my evaluation race. Now the long story being cut short is basically to sign up to AOR you have to first of all sign up with what they ask for and then also you have to do a series of time trials and also an evaluation race. Now I did all of those steps and the only thing I had left to do was the evaluation race and I thought you know what I think it'd be a pretty good video something different and something that I could record for you guys so if you're excited for the video guys and also for my return to league racing then drop a like on the video I can say I've been out of league racing now for a long long time I used to race on AOR slash ARL back in the day um, Apex and I'm racing formerly known as Apex Racing League and basically my last time on this league was F1 2013 for season 8 this right now on F1 2018 is the start of season 16, so I've been gone for pretty much half of AOR's life. Um, so it's been a long, long while, or nearly five years. But you know what? I kind of fancied it, and we are back here for the return of league racing. And I'm looking forward to it. Let me know in the thoughts down below in the comments, guys, if you are excited for it. And um, let me know if you want to see videos of every single race. There'll be one race every weekend um, going from pretty much November all the way up to March, so across the winter. And I think there'll be some pretty decent content for the channel, but... Um, all in all, let's see how it goes. Now, Karim will be on the channel tomorrow. Um, I'm focusing on this video here today because I want to see how this goes. I want to get a good idea and indication of how league racing goes on the channel. So if you guys are excited, drop a like and hopefully give this series a chance on the channel. It's, as it is something different and something I've been wanting to do for a little while. So straight away, we got into Saturday qualifying here. Now, I must admit, I was at work during like, this day. It was on Saturday. I was so, so tired. And basically, I did the race because I had to do it. But I didn't put in a single lap of practice, not one. I had no setup. You would have seen just before I did a setup on the fly. Um, basically a bit of, um, I guessed it basically. And so far we've done our first attempt, which was a decent little banker lap. Second attempt, we got held up by traffic, which is what you can see right now. So I eventually decided to come in to the pit lane. And then my final attempt. Now, um, I must admit, lap time wise, I probably could have gone, I'd, say, I'd even say maybe a whole second faster at least if I'd got a good setup and lots of practice but like I said I was just so tired I was probably driving about 60% of what I can really do around here I mean I went faster here in my career mode but um, this was my best attempt it was an 18 minute qualifying and my last attempt was the best one we're two turns down after the first couple of corners as I broke way too early for turn one and basically we're going to work on trying to pull the time back over the lap and seeing how it goes a big snap over there on the exit and um, yeah the setup wasn't great by any means you know I wasn't really wasn't really super happy with it so I was basically I was aiming for consistency today I knew I wasn't going to have the raw pace or performance so for me a good race weekend here in this evaluation race to see where I would feed is to have consistent pace try and score a good result you know maybe a top seven top eight finish and also have no incidents stay clean which is very important in AOR you have to keep your nose clean and have no crashes you know no corner cars no track extends all of that stuff so um as you can see in the meantime, we've overturned the difference in our lap time in qualifying and we're currently two turns up on our best attempt. Not a massive amount, but we're still up nonetheless. And uh, we're looking pretty good here. We're on target to lower our lap time. With only one more corner to go. A little bit of traffic there on the right, the 4C. Luckily though, it doesn't hold me up unlike the last one with the Torosso and the Red Bull. And now through the final corner, I get very wide actually. And uh, I, was, I had a lot of understeer with their setup. I wasn't really happy with it. And like I said, um, a lot of time could have come off the lap time. We do a 27-1, I believe that is. Uh, from what I can see on my little screen and we qualify P9 for the race tomorrow so overall not too bad and you can see the fastest time there in the 1 minute 25 so I definitely don't think I could have matched that who knows if I'd really put a lot of practice in and you know got a really good setup um, I could have got close because I don't really know what my true potential is um, all I know is I could have definitely qualified at least P4 um, if I just put a few laps of, eff of effort in basically so yeah all in all I was looking forward to it hopefully though my race pace is better so with that being said Let's see how it goes. Qualifying stand dusted. And now let's move into my first return to league racing in a long, long time. So then here we go towards the end of the formation lap. And I'm looking forward to it. My first race, competitive race in pretty much nearly five years. I mean, I did do a, a, a sort of second tier, uh, lower, not a serious league on F1 2014. But my last time in AOR was in F1 2013. And this is going to be a very interesting race i'm looking forward to it so here we go last couple of cars 
on the rear just getting up to speed and now we're going to get ready for the five red lights here for this evaluation race in AOR at Bahrain and it's lights out and away we go here I'm um, post commentating this by the way guys as there'll be a bit of a difference in normal recorded stuff a little bit of contact with the car on my right hand side it's a Red Bull I'm going to commit to the outside though for turn one I'm going to try and find the space go nice and deep on the brakes we go around the outside of three cars and we take the inside line and we go up to P7 so a very nice move there and a very nice start to the race even though with the contact we still managed to do well and keep our nose out of trouble and stay ahead and it's a really good start so far I'm into seventh place and I was feeling aggressive when this race started everyone's going pretty cautious and pretty slow and I knew I had chances here to make moves as you can see the Haas in front and um, being very conservative and I thought to myself you know what I fancy a run at this guy, I want to try and have a go, so the house goes up the inside of my teammate in the Renault there, we switch right back underneath, get the traction, but no way through that unfortunately, and the Haas does stay in front as we race down to turn 10 into the hairpin for the first time, the Haas locking up, there we go for the switch back line, and we actually do get some really good traction here, using the ERS and hot lap mode, and also fuel mixture in rich, here we go, picking up the slipstream into overtake, now into the brake zone on the inside. Can we make the move on the brake? And the Haas locks up on the on the left front there. And that allows me to go up the inside. And up with the P6 after lap one. A fantastic start to the race. And a really, really good start. And already feeling way more confident in race treatment than I was in qualifying my race pace. However, on to the start of lap two. We've got some clean air. Lots of battling in front and behind. We've got a nice little pocket of space. However, into turn one, a big incident occurred as the McLaren just completely hit the side of me um, he later apologized to me on Twitter so shout out to FK Gaming but uh, that was a very very rash move and I was not happy at the time um, luckily though I wasn't taken too seriously because it's an evaluation race a big crash there three cars swiped out on the right hand side I don't know what happened as we got the inside of the Mercedes into turn four so a very late move um, probably a bit of a dodgy move but I, I, in the heat of the moment I was a little bit angry and I just wanted to get the move done and get back ahead um, that incident hasn't helped out my super soft tyres one bit and uh, yeah like I said FK Gaming came from absolutely miles away and took me out so I was not happy one bit so I, in, and in the moment I was quite angry and I wanted to really try and recover and uh, get back to where I was because you know P6 was a great position if I could finish there in the race that would be great for me and um, you see now onto lap number 4 my first proper lap in clean air um, after obviously turn 1, lap 1, incidents, whatever we do a 31.3 which is not spectacular and now on lap 4 we have an incident here yet again as FK Gaming the McLaren almost you could say karma struck he goes wide and spins and there's also my teammate the Renault there going off and we jump up into 7th place that is potential for early signs that tyres could be going off and to be fair at this point I decided I was going to come in I was meant to come in lap 6 but because of the crash and the spin that I had on, on lap 2 um, my tyres took a big hit on temperature and also uh, tyre wear so I decided to come in on lap 4 and come in 2 laps earlier um, unfortunately for my teammate the Renault is going to come in behind me so he's going to have to stack up uh, but unfortunately we are going to go 2 laps earlier onto a set of soft compound tyres the strategy was super soft, soft, soft we are going to stick to it but it means we're going to have to prolong our soft tyre stints by one extra lap on each stint so hopefully we can still make that happen here and hopefully it goes ok also just to confirm um, I'm only dropping the Renault for this race. I don't know what car I'll be driving in yet. Car, car selections have not been done yet for AOR this season, so don't take it too seriously. I'm not sure what team I'm driving for just yet. But we do rejoin behind the Haas here in P17 on lap 5. And basically, it's time for a bit of a calculated steering to try and drive fast, but not over the top. Keep the tyres in and also be aggressive as FK Gaming again in the McLaren goes for another spin there for the second time in a couple of laps. And this time he's going to lose a hell of a lot of time as we now get right on the back of the Haas. We pull to the inside, but unfortunately he's got a bit of a toe from the Williams in front and we have to just sit behind and wait. But then we go very late on the brakes into the bottom corner, taking the inside line, squeezing him out on the exit and then getting the traction on the Williams here. And we're going to open up DRS and go for the DRS overtake on him and try and get P14 and make it a double overtake. Um, or even a triple overtake if you consider the McLaren spinning just before and we go into lap 6 and we're now up into P14 as we get the move done at the inside of turn 1 overall very good stuff so far and I felt a lot more confident in the race trim straight away you know from the minute the 5 red lights went out I could feel I was better in race trim than qualifying and I felt a lot of confidence underneath me to really attack people as we're now behind the Torosso here and uh, he was on the soft tyres he started the race in those tyres so basically his tyres are a little bit older than mine uh, mine are three laps old, he's a seven, so we're going to have the edge when it comes to tyre performance. Also, I had the edge in terms of just overall pace as we get the zip stream behind the back straight. Do we go to the inside? Yes, we do. Lay on the brakes. However, he just holds it around the outside just about. We try and switch back and get the inside for the next corner. He just about blocks it off. I'm going to stay very close here and we get the inside 
line for the right hander here and we slip up the inside job done and we squeeze him out on the exit and we're up into 13th place and a very nice overtake there and dirty air not affecting me too badly as we make our way back into the top 10 and they're making good progress here as we now go on to lap number 10 here and so far you can see we've got yellow flag in front of us as a Mercedes is going on for a spin on the left hand side and we're going to capitalize on that by going up the inside and getting past we're going to go for the squeeze on the exit to make sure he doesn't hold it on the outside and we're now into ninth place there's also someone came into the pit lane I believe um, a couple of laps ago and we're now on the back of this three car train here including this Red Bull who we want to try and see if we can try and get past here and we've got DRS and also maximum engine modes are we going to make the move on the back straight yet yeah, again here? We are pretty far back. We are going to look for the outside, but the Red Bull just goes a bit deep on the brakes. We're going to get the, the exit and the traction on him. We're going to go to the left. Can we go around the outside of the Red Bull here? We are going to commit to it, but then we go right back inside and commit for the switchback as the Red Bull runs deep and we get the job done there. Very nice stuff. And we're into eighth place now. So quick recovery and making this soft tire work you know really good race tire and the car was working really nicely with it as so we're now on the back of the ferrari here uh, blue flag for the four senior you can see there that's been ghosted because he actually retired and left the session so it's an ar car driving unfortunately that off settles the ferrari man a bit and we just make it a very easy pass on traction and we get ourselves into seventh place holding the inside line through the left and getting the job done there and we're pretty much now one position off going back to where we were in our original position and we're actually behind um the man that qualified a second there in the Salva, so we're making very good progress here and I think he stopped as well so we've managed to somehow get back on target with the leaders but you can see my tire wear there in the bottom right uh, we were struggling for tire wear so I was aware that we needed to at this point we got most of the overtakes done we needed to sort of control the tires now and get the stint length out I needed to get to lap you know 14 15 give or take uh, maybe even 16 and really make sure we get those tires nice and deep into this thing we've got a red one in the pit lane there keep an eye on him um because he's going to be the man that we're racing in this second stint because he's on the one stopper he's going to go from the soft straight to the mediums in this race so let's see how that one pans out we're now p5 on lap 16 though a few laps later uh, we did a few you know pretty consistent laps controlled laps to keep the tires in the window and we eventually come in for our final stop we got our strategy back on target after that spin and contact early on and we're now pretty much back to where we were and back to normality so on to another set of fresh soft compound tyres and underway here to rejoin onto the racetrack and there is the man that I mentioned before in the mediums getting past and he's in P6 but we're currently dropping down a few positions here we're currently P8 about to be P9 behind the Toro Rosso as we gap the speed so at worst this race we're going to finish where we started in ninth place which is not too bad considering um, the incidents and everything that's gone on in this race and also a strategy because I was tempted to go for the one stop from the super softs onto the mediums um, but as you see now on lap 19 or 18 should I say my teammate comes in um, pretty straightforward stuff there in the other Renault as we gain a position for pretty much no effort in its own right and then on to lap 19 one lap later on to lap 20 uh, we're now in the back yet again of the Toro Rosso here picking up the toe overtake and rich mix getting a nice extreme dummy to the left and then fainting and going to the right and making the move up the inside of turn one a very nice move uh, the Toro Rosso to be fair gave me a good old uh, race here I really appreciate this one a good little scrap and uh, the first person that really tried to defend against me in this race and I really enjoyed it and we got the job done though he tried to come back at me towards turn four but I was using the high engine mode to stay ahead as we broke extra late to make sure he didn't get anywhere near me in the brake zone and we're now P7 and pretty much the story of the rest of the race was um, controlling my tyres and pace because we've got a wacky racer here in the pit lane I believe oh, sorry no it's a personal best for me that was my best actual lap of the race I would not match that lap at any other time in the Grand Prix and then the next lap I think um, Wacky Razor actually came in and he was going in for the set of the super soft compound tyres so he's going to go really aggressive in that final stint would he catch me? I don't think he would because uh, he would be a full pistol at the high and we recovered to P6 which is where we were pre-incident so all in all onto the last lap of the Grand Prix um, the man that went for the one stopper in the Red Bull did a really good strategy got P5 I think P5 would have been possible if this incident hadn't happened uh, but all in all I can't complain P6 a great result and a very good comeback race for me in AOR considering no practice and no setup so very happy and um, hopefully that will be enough to impress the people that do the evaluation and hopefully we get placed in a semi-competitive league um, a part of me would love to be in F1 the top league because I think I can race there and I think I can compete but at the same time I don't know if I want to be I don't, I don't know if I want to sweat league racing and take it that seriously um, I, I'd like to be a bit more of a chilled out thing so it just depends what happens um, if I get anything lower than F2 I won't be happy um, I'd, I, I want to be at worst case scenario F2 but all in all a great race
And looking at the final race results, the man that got pole, uh, Jan Fella, got the race win in the McLaren. A very convincing win. And then look how many penalties there was. We luckily kept our nose clean, like I mentioned. No incidents. And we got the job done. 38 seconds adrift. I probably could have gone for the one stop because everyone went for the supers onto the mediums and that's what I wanted to do. So I would have done a pit stop less and also without the spin, I definitely think we could have got inside top five, no problem. So a little bit disappointed, it could have been a little bit more, but all in all, I can't complain. A great return race. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Also, do get subscribed if you're new and also check out these two videos on the screen in the moment if you want to see more F1 content. But all in all, that was my return to AOR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me and uh, yeah guys, League Racing is back.